123.4. Hey y'all, artist poet girl here, also known as APG Jamie. And today, let's make some paper tassels. As you know, I've been enjoying the embellishment uh, making process. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. Make some paper tassels. And um, let's hope our voiceover doesn't get out of sync with the video. Because you know it happens frequently, often, sometimes even. <laughs> so I'm just basically taking a strip of uh, scrap book paper. Scrap? Scrap book paper. And... Um, Excuse me, I was going to, or well, I did, um, use the <laughs> scoreboard to score a line, and then I thought, well, y'all can't see the scored line, so I'm just going to draw a pencil across there. And I'm using the uh, Martha Stewart fringe scissors, and they don't scooch forward too well, so, uh, you know, I just kind of don't scooch forward very often. And uh, let's see, what else is going on? Um, so I cut all that, and then I use uh, my uh, paper bead making tool to, um, oh, well, I got to trim fix those, get them up to the line. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. Some of them can be a little over the line, a little under the line, because, you know. Anyway, that's the boot, uh, paper bead making tool I have. And I'm going to use that. Um, now, this is the first time I'm making these paper tassels. <laughs> I sort of don't know what I'm doing. I sort of learned by osmosis of other videos, okay? I'm not stealing the idea. I'm just using the idea. All right, because you can't steal ideas, people, because, you know, that goes. Any hoots, this is the way my process, process, because there's not a pro in it. Um, and I'm gluing and rolling, and I'm gluing and rolling. I'll put some more glue any second. Anyway. But it really doesn't matter if the voiceover is out of sync anyway if I try to keep up with what I'm seeing on the screen. Let's check that time. Two and a half. Yes, it's staying. It's staying up pretty good today. Mm -hmm. I've had some computer issues. <sighs> that last Windows update really did it. A good turn. Well, not really a good turn. But any hoots. So these are some uh, various glass beads that I got on clearance from somewhere clearance i don't i i don't know hobby lobby michaels you know name name your favorite craft store and, yeah so it's mishmoss glass beads and some of them are broken and some of them have rough edges and none of them are really necessarily perfect okay which makes them perfect for one of my projects so i took a piece of wire and uh, bent a little loop in it and then put a small bead on the bottom, ran it through the center of the tassel, and now I'm beading the top part. I'm going to uh, clip that wire shorter and roll it up so that uh, I have like a, a ring on the top, you know, like a sort of, not a jump ring, because that's just single, but anyway, I'm rolling it up so I can put a jump ring through it and also put on the same jump ring a lobster claw hook, because they look like lobster claws, okay? And I'll be doing that, and I think I dangle I think I'm dangling. I have this uh, old necklace I had because it's now, and now it's took apart. Okay, it's taken apart. And um, it had words on it like love and live and laugh. I think that was it. Live, love, laugh, that kind of, you know, those kind of words. Oh, wait, we're going to put, <laughs> I'm jumping too far ahead. Oh, my goodness. This was recorded and then the computer fouled up and I had to take it to the shop and, you know, so, any hoots. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. So I have this fringe, fringy trim stuff, and I'm wrapping around there. As you saw, I used uh, some tur or, uh, original tacky glue on that to wrap the fringy around. I want to make sure I get it good and glued it on there. So we're gluting it on. <sighs> I feel, I feel rushed. I don't know. 
I've been doing errands around and about town today. One of which was picking my computer back up. Seems to be doing okay. So far. Girl's fingers. Jump down, go to down boogie. And um, so there we go. Now, now uh, it's, it's a lobster call. Lobster claw and the jump ring. Oh, that's right. I had to look for a jump ring. I might not have found one, so you might get to see me make some. Oh, there's that necklace. When it was still a necklace. Yep, there's one. So when you open jump rings, you twist them. You don't pull them apart. Don't never pull them apart, y'all. Twist them. And then when you close them, you twist them back. Okay? Jump ring on the tassel. Claw on the castle. Castle. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, no, and that's when I decide, oh, let's just use one of these words off this necklace I don't never wear. Don't never. So I'm cutting it apart because they don't really have jump rings. It's just all kind of like made one solid chain. Well, you know, they're jump rings, but anywho. So I'm cutting them apart and uh, putting it on there, and I'm going to twist the jump ring back together. I think in the photo montage, which there's a photo montage on this video, you'll be able to see the words a little more better. So that's tassel one. How many did I make? I think I make a total of five. Oh, now I'm going to make some jump rings. That there is a, let me ask you a question pencil. <laughs> it's a pencil sharpener, but it looks like a little hatchet axe. Ax you. You get it? Okay, well, moving on. So I'm taking my there, my there, I'm taking the wire. No, I have no idea what gauge wire it is. It's just, it's just jewelry making wire, y'all. And I'm wrapping around that there pencil because it seems to be a pretty good size for me, any hoots. And I'm wrapping it around, I don't know, however many times I'm wrapping it around. Then I'm going to clip it and I'll have that there spiral of wire. And I will be able to clip them apart. Where's my clippers? Oh, poop. Where's my stick? Oh, they're there. So I clip it. And now I can clip uh, a single loop. And now I have a jump ring. Ta-da! Jump ring! Jump ring! Jump, jump, jump. And I'm going to do this here. Um, Strapped paper. I don't know what length these pages are. I don't know. What's that one say on that there? I don't know. Seven, eight, nine. I don't know. I can't, re I can't read it from here, y'all. I'm just scoring it uh, essentially so, uh, so it'll roll up more butter for me. That's what works for me. I don't know what's going to work for you. And I'm just going to use uh, regular scissors on this one so you can see that you can indeed use regular scissors. You know, regular scissors, you can scooch up a little bit. Whereas those Martha Stewart ones, they don't scooch up so well. They do, but you got to be really careful, okay? So anyway, I'm not going to make you watch me do each individual cut and slice and dice. And I'm going to move on momentarily. How's our time? Our time is doing all right. See, it's scooched up. Ta-da! Scooched up. Almost done with cutting. Uh, I don't think I show you all five of them. Let's cross fingers that I don't, because this is like a uh, almost almost 17 minute video, y'all. See, ta-da, fringy, fringy. And I'm gonna take that there uh, paper bead rolling tool, which I do like. You know, I've I've not made any paper beads with them since I bought the set of them. You know, the intentions are good. I'm a collector. Okay, what can I say? So, but it's working working pretty well for this. The main thing is you want to keep your um, um, the top edge that you're rolling pretty much straight. Otherwise, you get buckles and you know puckers and whatnot edge and stuff like that. So rolling and gluing and gluing and rolling and rolling and gluing and gluing and rolling. Now when you cut with scissors, your um, your fringy part's not necessarily all going to be the same, and that's no big deal. All right, it's really not a big deal, y'all. My biggest deal is how am I going to mail these to anybody? Because you know they got the beads on them, and they're not going to leave flat in an envelope. I don't know about that. So here comes that wire, and I'm going to make a little tiny loop on the bottom, and then I'm going to put a little 
tiny, well, I'm going to put a little bead. It won't necessarily be tiny bead on there. And um, let's see. Because if you put a big bead underneath there, it's going to make your friends poof out like a poof out skirt. <laughs> Hawaiian grass skirt, sort of. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm beading it. And beading it. And beading it. And now I'm going to trim off a little bit, right? Right? No, I'm bending it at a 90 and I'm wrapping it around. Um, that's one of those nose plier rounder things. And I wrap it around a few times. Then I'm going to hold it. And I'm going to wrap the wire between the loop that I made and the um, bead. You know, kind of tighten it up a little bit. And now I'm going to clip it. And you can fiddle with it, you know, till, till it's kind of smooth. Because sometimes you can get a sharp edge on there. So y'all be careful of them sharp edges, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think on this whole set that I made this day, that day, I put uh, a word. Oh, look, we're going to use some ribbon on there. We're going to wrap some ribbon around there, make it kind of prettier. Just decorate it just a little bit. I'm showing you it's got a lot of glue on it. A lot of glue, y'all. Trimming that edge. Going to wrap it around. So, anyways... That's what I'm doing. Oh, cross fingers that this all works out well and I get it uploaded in time for Friday. Video time, 9 a.m. Texas time. Central Daylight Savings time, yo. Oh, that glue bottle fell. But it didn't spill any of that. Um, sorry for all that. I got an itch. Um, Oh, at least it wasn't, um, what was that? Other stuff I spilt that time. Oh, Lord, that was a mess. Well, no. yeah, it was a mess. And it was orange, too, at the time, wasn't it? Sure was. I must be having issues with orange. So there's, uh, oh, there's one of the words, because I got them all trimmed up. And I had sanded some of uh, the, because they had kind of sharp edges on there. So I sanded them. Uh, with a uh, emery board, you know, a little fingernail file, emery board file thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, so now I'm trying to pick up the, I mean, some of these things, it's just my fingers just get fiddly sometimes. Fiddly, fiddly, foo. And getting it on there with that jump ring I made and smooshing it together. I'll make sure it's pretty, pretty well twisted back together, yeah. Tightening that other one up. Mm, tucking it in. Squishing it. Okay, and there we go. Tassel number two. Right? I think so. And pausing. Oh, look, I'm going to make another one. Well, I'll make a total of five. And I guess it took me, what, uh, an hour, hour-ish? We're going to say an hour-ish. And I got it whittled down to just at 17 minutes. Just Well, it's actually under 17. Okay, y'all? But who's counting? Mm, 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 mm. That, that part didn't cut so well, so I'm using the scissors on it. And we're just going to do the same thing. I guess I could have sped this part up some more. But I didn't, so <laughs> you get to watch it again. And this is a long piece. I think this one's like 12 inches. Because it looked like a piece of 12 by 12. Which is, you know, just a strip off of there. And we're rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Trying to keep my fringes straight down there. I know that some people when they're making these, their fringes stay straight the whole time. But mine get a little flippy, floppy, wobbly-ish. So, don't forget there will be a photo montage at the end-ish and there will be a disclaimer screen mm-hmm disclaimer screen and uh, I think we wrap uh, ribbon around this one as well because I'm pretty sure I wrapped a ribbon around all of them except for the one I did the uh, gold fringy trim on because it was laying there and I need to use it up y'all just need to use it up so I'm making that little 
circle thing. I'd already picked out the beads. I think I did that on the last one too. And that's the one that goes under the skirt. And then these are the beads that's going on top. I don't know. I just said number three and, you know, three beads. Did all of them get three beads? I don't know. And they're different lengths, too. So, uh, yeah, just do whatever makes you happy and whatever length you can work with makes you happy. Good? Good. Now, this is actual paper paper as opposed to uh, scrapbook card. You know, the thicker one, this is more like, you know, copy paper. Okay. Which you could do uh, your own, make your own copy paper pretty, you know, like uh, mono printed papers or stenciled papers or whatever makes you happy and then use that for your tassels too because that would just be fun. And as you can see, you can use pretty much any pattern. I use stripes and flowers and I think one of them was dots and, and they look pretty so far. They all look pretty. Photo montage. <laughs> so now you get to see the tassels that I made and the little words off that pre-existing necklace, which is now just a little charm, charmy doohickey thingies, yeah, on the tassels, because I like them like that. Time is good on the voiceover, disclaimer screen, and who's ready for... Thanks for watching and happy arting y'all.